My name is Maria Mahani and this week's aqua tip is the baby crawl using the noodle. So this is a fairly cool exercise because it's where you position the noodle in the water that will determine the intensity of the exercise. So baby crawl, as we call it in Australia, or you know, it could also be called mountain climber, that's what they normally do on land. But we, we pop down into this prone position and we move the knees in and out. Now, you can start by just holding the noodle down and you don't even need to grip the noodle, okay? Because in this position, I'm just using my straight locked arms to hold the noodle in position. So then I can start moving the noodle. So if I move the noodle in and out from my chest, yeah, I tend to get up into the upper back behind the neck. So if you've got clients that have issues with um, tightness around their upper traps, it's probably not ideal because they're going to pull up a lot. So asking them to keep their shoulders down is a little bit of a silly statement because the exercise in itself sort of brings their shoulders up. But it is a little easier to perform. But if you bring the noodle down lower so that you're aiming to bring the noodle towards the belly, it becomes a little bit more challenging for the upper body. And also you can bring the noodle so it touches one knee. So I'm jogging and bringing that noodle to a knee. Now this feels really good to do. I feel lengthened in the shoulders and the neck. I'm also getting a bit more of a workout. And I'm just touching one knee because the noodle pushes out when the other leg goes out. It also encourages me to bring my knee right up towards the noodle, which is up high on the chest. You'll notice I haven't really moved around a lot. So I turn a little bit, but I haven't moved forwards. And that's the goal of this exercise, is not to travel. So you're not travelling up and down the pool with this. The idea is that you push forwards as hard as you pull back, and that will keep you stationary. So pushing forwards, so it pushes you back a little bit, pulling back pushes you forward. So if you've got an equal amount of force going both ways with your arms and your legs, you'll stay stationary and it will just create some balance in the movement pattern, both to the front and to the back. I often say, make sure that you give as much as you take. When we do this exercise, just have a bit of fun with my clients. But cool exercise, definitely gets the heart rate up. You do not have to grip the noodle very hard for this because with your arms down this low, it's almost your body weight going to your arms that's holding it in position, so I'm not really gripping onto the noodle much at all. Actually, I'm just sort of just doing this with my thumbs. But I still can move that noodle really effectively, and as you can hear, my heart rate's going up. So cool little suspended exercise, which you can do in any depth of pull because you're in that sort of horizontal position, and that's this week's aqua tip. Demonstrating the baby crawl on your tummy with the noodle moving in and out requires you to get down onto the ground. It's the best way to demonstrate this. I find that anything when you're demonstrating with arms, when you try to demonstrate standing vertically, then getting them to imagine it being prone, can be problematic and it can take a lot more explanation. As they say, a picture says a thousand words. So I would get down on the pool deck, hands on the knee, knees coming all the way in and all the way out, Arms pushing forwards, arms pulling in. Now with this exercise, you don't need to pull that loop all the way in. Just make sure that you're getting your clients to pull their knees up high. And for those who want to work harder, it's trying to touch the knees. So, a little hard to demonstrate that in the, on the deck. Yep. So that you go here, push out, come here, push out, come here. Requires a little bit of strength. The alternative is to use a chair or the apple frame doing a similar sort of thing, yep. but you'll be more sort of at an angle. And for some clients, I feel a little bit better when they think going down to the wrong pool. And that's this week's aptitude.